is KION News Channel 546 at 11. Good evening. Thanks for being here for KION News at 11. I'm Veronica Macias. And I'm Phil Aldrich. New cameras in Salinas designed to help fight crime in the city will soon be up and running. The Salinas County Council, City Council, Farby, approved the use of license plate readers. The ION's Erica Bratin tells us how there was concerns from people's privacy, but advocates guarantee the focus will be on license plates only. Hey, Erica. Hey, Phil. Much like the shot spotter technology, the automated license plate reader cameras give Salinas police an additional way to track and capture criminals. Automated license plate recognition cameras, which are also called ALPR cameras for short, are considered helpful when a crime takes place. Police say cameras only act as recording devices. I'm a huge believer in technology, so I'm going to use technology to augment the safety of the city. And these cameras allow me to do exactly that. The cameras only focus on the license plate and vehicle a witness or victim may have been able to... These are not live cameras, again, that we can track people. They do not have any facial recognition software or anything like that. The only thing I'm able to see is a vehicle. While the approval of these ALPR cameras was passed, it was not a unanimous vote. One no vote came from Council Member Anthony Rocha out of concerns over privacy protocols. I wasn't necessarily against the technology. I just wish that we would have taken more time to um, codify the privacy policy and make it a council adopted policy and then also focus on establishing a routine schedule for auditing to ensure that privacy is not being given out. Rocha mentioned the state auditor did a report on ALPRs which found that oftentimes local police departments don't do frequent and scheduled audits to check that only plates are being captured. I, I wanted to see us take a little bit more of a pause and see what the state ends up doing and beef up our internal um, privacy policies before moving in that direction. While the current privacy policy does say information is going to be given out, Rocha wasn't able to get a firm commitment that there would be an established routine auditing system. It doesn't affect civil liberties because we're now intruding in people's private lives. This is public places. About 20 ALPR cameras will be strategically placed around the city, especially in high crime areas, along with the city's entry and exit points. Eric Bratin reporting for KION News Channel 546.